In line with the efforts of the Lagos state government to provide palliative measures for residents amidst the stay-at-home order, the leadership of Ejibo Community Development Committee, in collaboration with the local council development area of Lagos State, have distributed more than 5,000 food items to residents in the council. We are actually distributing relief uh, package, which was uh, jointly done by the council and the CDC. You know, the CDC created uh, a project which we call Community Care. So this project is to help us reach to the indigent members and the foreign members of the community. That is, the community will take care of itself. What is happening right away? We have the CDC community and the COVID-19 community care. They have really tried. They will, they've gone round getting money from various people to be able to do, to do this that you can see there now. According to the CDC, the relief package is to complement the first stage of the Lagos State's government's welfare package, which catered for 200,000 households across the 57 councils in the state. The Ejibo relief package, which contains various food items like yam, eggs, noodles, beans, and so on, is meant to cater for indigents and the vulnerable. Today, we are happy to inform the people of Ejibo our determination to uh, assist the people to push the effect of stay at home order uh, uh, as proclaimed by the federal government and the Lagos state uh, government. The government of Ejigwe CDA, in collaboration with the CDC executive uh, members, we have procured uh, various food items uh, ranging from uh, about 5,000 tubers, about 4,000 tubers of yams, uh, about 100 bags of rice, and a whole of 100 crates of egg. These are the items displayed here. These are the items displayed here. The structure of our distribution is to be done through the CDC network in order to encourage a social gathering. One of the preventive measures outlined by the medical experts is that there must be a social distancing. So this, the government will hand over these items to the CDC. In this each of the CDAs, we have asked the leadership of the CDA, that is the chairman, to look into the CDA, which comprises series various streets, to look at those who are poor, those who are indigent, and those who are vulnerable to forward 30 names of them to all. So we are targeting 30, 30 members of the indigent, I mean, of the indigent and the vulnerable members of each of the city. We are about starting to go and be sharing it for the less privileged, for those that cannot afford to buy it, and some that cannot even feed with a square meal. Exactly 1.04 p.m., the food train led by the CDC chairman left Ejibo LCDA Secretariat at NNPC bus stop along with members of the Agri Department as well as representatives of various CDAs within the council area. The first point of call is Igala Estate. Residents eligible to the relief package troop out in orderliness to collect their packages. The next is Ilego area of the council. And from one community development association to another, residents react to the ends of fellowship to survive during the lockdown.
But you come for a confine, no, to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not residents and also the CDC has been so helpful too. He has arranged for a package given along with the ones the German is giving. And definitely to go a long way in alleviating the problem of this uh, lockdown period. My city has Kazan City with uh Ageke Pakuji City with um uh, no, no, but CD and others like that. We are all here, we are all present here, and we have received the agents. Because of the widows, because we have to leave the whole gem, because our only big bar, our zero big bar, see a big power on the whole of food. So, you know, they're going to let you know, you know, a total number of 110 community development associations cut across Aigbaka, Ailegun, Fadu, Ifoshi, Ilamoshe, and Okiafa Works in Nijibo LCDA all add a fill of the stimulus. The second phase of the distribution we commence soon. Whatever we do now, the God let this thing stop in time. If not to stop in time, we are ready to do the second phase. We, we need to carry, as of now, we are thinking of to, to feed up to five to six thousand people. And if it is by God gravity to stop, where well, it will be better. And if not, we still need to work more to feed more people. So we want people to stay at home. We pray that the, the virus should go away quickly that we don't know how soon it will be. So the, this exercise will continue to continue. We cannot satisfy everybody at the same time. The community should please obey the directive of the government. Coronavirus COVID-19 is real. It is only when you stay at home and you save, you also make other people save. Please, for now, stay at home. Let's care for ourselves. In caring for ourselves, it's also knowing that if you go out by planting the roof, you might be contacted. We pray to the Almighty God that none of us in this community will be inflicted with the coronavirus. God will protect us. But first of all, let us protect ourselves. And I want to thank the governor and the Secretary Chairman of the Chikunuka government. And I also want to thank the community that is doing this. And also those who contributed from their hearts to the CDC for us to enable us to provide this measure. We will come again because as, soon as, as long as this lockdown lasts, we will be providing to people. Let's care for ourselves.